The Dinglin Flywheel Energy Storage Power Station in China is a new clean energy innovation icon. At 30 megawatts, it is likely the largest operational flywheel energy storage system on Earth. Deep beneath its surface, 120 massive magnetically levitated rotors spin in perfect silence, storing mechanical energy with astonishing precision. For years, flywheel energy storage was considered a niche curiosity, but with the rise of renewable energy, it's making a major comeback. This machine might look simple, a wheel spinning inside a chamber, but it represents one of the most promising alternatives to chemical batteries. To understand why this massive project matters, it helps to understand the core idea. A flywheel energy storage system, or FES, is basically a mechanical battery. It doesn't rely on lithium, cobalt, or chemical reactions. Instead, it stores energy as motion. When electricity from solar panels or wind turbines is abundant, the system uses it to spin a large wheel at incredible speeds. The faster it spins, the more energy it stores. When electricity is needed again, the process reverses. The wheel's rotation powers a generator, sending electricity back to the grid. The concept is old, but modern technology has transformed it. Carbon fiber rotors, magnetic levitation bearings, and vacuum chambers drastically reduce friction and air resistance, allowing flywheels to spin at up to 50,000 revolutions per minute. At that speed, each rotor behaves like a perfectly balanced storm of energy, ready to release power at a moment's notice. Unlike chemical batteries, which can degrade after thousands of charge cycles, flywheels can operate for decades with little maintenance. They don't overheat, catch fire, or depend on rare materials mined under questionable conditions. What truly makes flywheels stand out is their speed and efficiency. Their round-trip efficiency, the amount of energy recovered after storing it, can reach 90 to 95%, even better than many lithium-ion systems. This makes them perfect for pairing with renewables like wind and solar, which produce uneven power depending on the weather. A gust of wind or a passing cloud can send energy output swinging wildly. Flywheel smooths these fluctuations in real time. When the grid frequency dips or spikes, a flywheel can instantly absorb or inject power to keep things stable. This ability to respond in milliseconds gives flywheels a critical role in what's called frequency regulation, keeping the grid's alternating current steady at 50 or 60 Hz. In regions heavily powered by renewables, where fluctuations happen constantly, that's invaluable. Traditional fossil fuel generators used to provide that stability through their spinning turbines. As we phase them out, flywheels are stepping in as their modern, carbon-free replacement. Still, despite all those advantages, flywheels come with serious challenges. Their greatest weakness is time. Even in perfect conditions, a flywheel will gradually lose energy through friction and magnetic losses. Most systems self-discharge between 5 and 20% per hour meaning they're terrible for long-term storage, but excellent for short-term bursts. That's why flywheels aren't competing with batteries meant to store energy overnight. They're stabilizers, not hoarders. Then there's the cost. These systems are mechanically complex and require extreme precision. Each wheel must be perfectly balanced and encased in a reinforced chamber, strong enough to contain the energy if something goes wrong. The chamber often sits underground to protect against catastrophic failure. Excavating these wells is one of the most expensive parts of building a FES. But as with most new technology, costs are slowly dropping as production scales up and designs become standardized. That brings us back to Dinglon. Built in the city of Changxi, Shangxi province, this project marks a milestone for China's renewable ambitions. Construction began in July 2023, and remarkably, the system connected to the national grid by September 2024. The entire station consists of 12 energy storage modules, each containing 10 high-speed magnetic levitation flywheels. Combined, they can regulate 30 megawatts of power at 110 kilovolts, instantly smoothing out fluctuations from nearby solar and wind farms. Unlike older designs hidden entirely underground, Dinglun uses a semi-buried configuration, where the machinery is housed in cylindrical wells with transparent monitoring windows. 
engineers can directly observe performance, maintenance needs, and temperature fluctuations in real time. The entire array works like a nervous system for the regional grid, sensing and correcting imbalance within fractions of a second. It's both a test site and a prototype, a pilot for a potential fleet of similar systems that could spread across China as renewable adoption accelerates. China isn't the only country betting big on flywheels. In Ireland, a massive project is taking shape at the Money Point Power Station, the country's largest and once most polluting coal facility. Siemens built a 130-ton flywheel there, one of the heaviest in existence, alongside a 66-ton synchronous condenser, a kind of mechanical cousin to a fess. Together, they store around 160 megawatt hours of rotational energy, enough to stabilize much of Ireland's grid. Money Point's transformation is part of a grand plan called Green Atlantic at Money Point, which will phase out coal, introduce offshore wind, and eventually produce green hydrogen on site. It's an inspiring example of old infrastructure finding new purpose. Where Money Point once belched carbon into the sky, it now spins clean energy in silence. It's also proof that flywheels don't just belong to futuristic labs, they can breathe new life into outdated power stations. Meanwhile, in the United States, a company called Taurus is pushing hybrids. They've partnered with the Gardner Group to install nearly 26 megawatt hours of combined flywheel and lithium battery storage across commercial and residential properties. Their design blends short-term, high-power mechanical storage with longer-term chemical storage. In practice, the flywheel handles fast, high-frequency energy needs, while the batteries manage slower, sustained demand. This kind of system could power up to 1,000 homes for an entire day. Taurus's installations are expected to begin in late 2024 and wrap up by early 2026. The company has also built an intelligent software platform to manage demand response and renewable integration automatically, helping grids react faster and smarter. If successful, their model could be replicated in smart cities and industrial parks across the US, turning flywheels into common infrastructure rather than rare prototypes. But perhaps no company has done more for modern flywheel technology than Amber Kinetics in California. Founded over a decade ago, they pioneered the M32 steel flywheel, a durable, cost-efficient design that can operate for 30 years or more. Their systems have been deployed in Hawaii, Taiwan, the Philippines, and several US cities. In each case, the flywheels serve as fast-reacting support systems for renewable power generation. One of their recent collaborations is with Key Energy in Australia. The two companies have developed an above-ground installation method that avoids costly excavation. This approach is especially appealing in wildfire-prone regions, since flywheels don't present the same fire or chemical risks as batteries. In one project in Sawyers Valley, Perth, they're providing energy security to residents who regularly experience blackouts, proving that feces systems can work safely even in suburban areas. Amber Kinetics also plans to expand in the Philippines, particularly on the island of Mindanao, where high electricity prices and unreliable supply remain major issues. By stabilizing microgrids with small flywheel units, they could help rural communities gain consistent access to power for the first time. If this plan succeeds, it could set a powerful precedent for other developing regions facing similar energy challenges. Despite their clear limitations, short storage times, and high costs, flywheels excel at something no other technology matches – instantaneous precision. In the milliseconds between a cloud passing over a solar array and a power plant adjusting output, a flywheel can absorb or inject the difference, keeping voltage steady. It's the invisible hand that keeps lights from flickering, turbines from tripping, and data centers from losing a beat. So are flywheels the ultimate solution to our energy problems? Probably not. They won't replace lithium batteries or hydrogen storage anytime soon but they're quickly becoming an essential part of the larger clean energy puzzle, a mechanical backbone supporting the fluctuating pulse of renewables. The energy revolution isn't about finding one perfect technology, it's about blending multiple solutions to create resilience. 
projects like Dinglon in China, Moneypoint in Ireland, and the hybrid systems in the US show that the humble spinning wheel is stepping into the spotlight once again. Not as a relic of the industrial age, but as a precision tool for the renewable era. In the coming years, we may see hundreds of flywheels buried beneath cities, stabilizing invisible waves of power. The future grid won't hum with static, it will spin with motion. And perhaps that's the most poetic part. In our pursuit of sustainable energy, humanity has rediscovered the power of momentum. Because sometimes progress isn't about reinventing the wheel, it's about keeping it spinning. About keeping it spinning.